Hey, hey, party people. This video, I'm going to show you all the things that I bought in LA and some of the swag that I got in Palm Springs at ClamorCon. ClamorCon being basically a conference for YouTube creators. I think some of you have come straight from Bailey J's vlog. I met Bailey and we hung out over the course of the con, the two and a half days, and she is so awesome. And then, uh, the first night, the opening night party, we met with the Art Sherpa for the first time. And the three of us were chatting, and Bailey put us on her vlog. And then I was watching the vlog, and then I realized I had spinach stuck in my teeth. Yeah, that was so awesome. <laughs> this is not my first cup of coffee. I am caffeinated, okay? Unlike my brush pens video okay? but that I actually shot on the fly in L.A. So yeah, yet another haul because I've been traveling a lot, but I'm taking a big, nice break from traveling for a while. So this is going to be your last haul for a while. And then instead, I'm going to have a bunch of first impressions and product reviews videos uh, instead for art supplies and stuff. Like I'm still going to have rendering videos and fabric videos and, and all that good stuff. This one is from Artists and Craftsmen Supply. Okay, the I went to the one in Mid-City. First up, I bought these two papers, and these are both for markers, right? This one is literally rag marker paper, and this one is recommended for felt markers and other mediums. And so I'm going to test them out. These are both 13 and a half pounds. And this one feels more like the BN Fang marker paper that I use currently, that I prefer currently. And this one feels a little bit more, it's got a tiny, tiny bit more tooth and a little tiny bit thicker and more matte. So I think I'm gonna do a video where I do a side-by-side -side comparison or maybe a side-by-side-by-side -by -side -by -side with the BN Fang and uh, test this out for, you know, bleeding and blending and all those good things. Let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of video. Although I have been told that I tend to ask stupid questions. Not that I'm stupid, but that every, the answer is always, does Zoe, yes, we want to see that. So yeah, that might also be the answer. <laughs> this I got, this is an all purpose paper for pens and markers. And I would like to find a thicker, more durable paper for marker work that doesn't suck my markers completely dry. I mean, I know that thicker papers are going to absorb more of my marker ink than marker paper, but you know, something that's not quite so crazy. Like these are very thin and flimsy. This is a 108 pound paper and you know, there are fine liners and things. It's used for ink and pens and markers. So we'll see, you know, this is not as flimsy. It's very, very smooth. Compare it to this cold press paper that I got. You see the texture there? I'm pretty stoked to try that one out. And, you know, this might be good for um, other things. I don't know. It's all-purpose paper. Paris paper. I don't know what that means, though. Like, is that a special thing? Paris paper? I mean, Paris is special, but is Paris paper special? Anyway, whatever. So I went and got these watercolor papers. I know I got a bunch of watercolor papers before, but I've also been looking for, you know, some watercolor papers that are not as expensive. Like I love the arches. I went to college going using arches and I've used them forever. I love them, but they are so expensive. And you know me, like I'm always trying to get you guys to practice more. And if the materials are really cost prohibitive, I know that Y'all aren't going to practice as much as I would like or that you would like because you're broke. I get that. So, you know, I do have the Cheap Art Supply series going on. But these, I was looking for something kind of in between. Like not super duper cheap, 
but also not crazy expensive like the arches. So this is still professional quality, hopefully. This is fluid watercolor paper, cold press. Y'all know 140 pound right around there is my preferred weight for fashion illustration work. Whoa, excuse me. And I just got the small block because I figure I could test out the paper without needing huge sheets of it. And again, it's got that cold press texture. And then this one is the hot press 140 pound, 300 GSM. And you see no texture. Okay, very, very smooth. So we'll test those out. This is Fabriano Studio Watercolor and Hot Press, 140 pounds, hot press. Again, no texture, very smooth. You know, it's in a pad that I like. I don't like, I don't love it when there's like glue on all the sides because I have to carefully take an X-Acto and peel them up. And so I prefer the ones where it's just glue on the top. I also got this cool thing. I didn't, okay, this is leather dye. And I did not know that these existed for everyday non-industry people to pick up at an art store. And I know that sounds snobby, but that's not how I mean it. It's I worked with tons of leather, and usually if I want a specific color, I just would call my tanner and be like, hi, do you carry this in a ox blood or do you carry this article in a beige, whatever. So I never stopped to consider dyeing my own leather. So I never did the research, you know, and, but I saw this huge display and I obviously, you guys know, I'm really into leather and working with leather. So I picked up one of these. I love this packaging. See, look, to prevent spills, push down at the perforations and stand bottle in cavity as illustrated. That's so smart to reuse the box in this way. And it is eco-friendly and so practical. I already love that about this one. Um, I have leather scraps aplenty in my studio. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. At some point... I think I lost track of what I bought at, oh no wait, I got these at Artists and Craftsmen and I got these at Graph Aids, I'm fairly certain. Mm. Like, I got those papers at Artists and Craftsmen for sure and the leather dye. These are Coronor, do you see the little water brush? in gold logo there. Okay. I think that means this is a water soluble colored pencil. So I picked up two that might work for nice medium skin tones. This is Indian red. That's what it says. And this one is check 439. This one is Indian red 445. And then these are designed by Oh my God, I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to try that. Anyway, these are also Aquarell color pencils. I've never even seen these. Don't know how to pronounce them. Mm. Somebody shoot me a comment if you know how to pronounce all that. And then I picked up a couple of refills of the 0.3 lead. These are rarer, more rare. Rarer is such a weird word. Is that a word? Or Yeah, rarer, rarest. Okay, they're rarer to find less common. And so whenever I see them, I tend to pick up a 2H and an HB. The HB is the most rare, the rarest. Dry erase tape, y'all. I'm so excited to try this. It's removable. It just It's tape, but the surface is like dry erase boards, like whiteboards, marker boards. And of course, I'm a teacher, so I have already a dozen dry erase markers and can't wait to start labeling things. I don't think it should surprise you that I'm really into organization and labeling. I mean, you saw my studio tour video, right? If you've been keeping up with my channel, then you know that I have recently embarked on a, a an ink's interest obsession testing period. Whatever. This is um, Sennelier. Oh, Sennelier. Sennelier. Wow. I'm the worst. All right. This stuff is almost 12 American dollars, 12 US dollars. That is a lot of money for ink. 
That's a lot. But the packaging is beautiful. I've never seen this before. I'm just like, uh, let's try one. I bought one. Just the one. This is Burnt Sienna. Uh, I'm hoping I can make some really nice skin tones with this Burnt Sienna. We'll see. You know, shellac-based ink, transparent satin finish. Um, what does it say in here? Thin with water, superimposable. The inks can be intermixed. Apply with a brush or drawing pen. And then, do you remember how I said I was using the Higgins stuff because uh, that was what I was asked to teach with originally? And then I had a few. Well, I was looking at them and I had drawing inks. I had dye-based drawing inks. And so I picked up these two. These are waterproof and fade-proof pigment-based drawing inks. And I got magenta and yellow. I didn't see a cyan-ish color there. So I wanted to try these out along with the with the dye-based inks that I have. And then I remember someone gave me this. I forget why. But this is also waterproof, fade-proof, pigment-based. So it's blue, not cyan, but I'm going to try these three with, I mean, this is 545, which I think is comparable to the inks that I bought in Japan with the conversion and whatnot. This is just ridiculous expensive. Oh, my. Okay. Because this is closer to the Noodler's price, but Noodler's gives you three times as much. So if you want to go ounce for ounce. Anyway, we've already had that discussion. So when I was in Palm Springs, I met the art Sherpa, Cinnamon, and she gave me this. And I mentioned this briefly in my brush pens video, but these are color sheets. They're watercolor in sheet form. Okay, They're just these thin little sheets and they have watercolors on either side and very smart. You have these little sheets of vellum in between so the colors don't rub up against each other. And, uh, whoa! That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a first impressions video. As you can see, I have not painted, I have not dipped into them. So I am going to shoot a first impressions video. Okay, real quick, I did not buy these. My friend, who obviously thinks I have way too much time on my hands. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't really understand that either. Okay, so she thinks I have time to color in coloring books, so she bought me these three. I think she just bought them because they're funny, not really because she, she thinks I have so much time. Uh <laughs> okay, so they're adult coloring books. They're all filled with cuss words and <laughs> They're all pretty funny, which got me thinking, are y'all interested in me selling fashion illustration coloring pages on my in my Etsy store? I know a lot of these art channels on YouTube do a similar thing, but not for fashion, more like animation, Disney-ish illustration, cartoon, kind of more in that realm. So if you're interested in fashion illustration coloring pages, Drop me a comment. Out of all the swag that I got at ClamorCon, I'm fairly certain these two are my favorite. They are disco ball drink cups. And I will be shooting all of my summer videos drinking iced coffee out of these disco balls. <laughs> I love them so much. Ah, I love disco balls. Um, if you follow my Instagram from way, way back, if you're an old time subscriber, you know that I did a mock-up of the um, the disco ball hoodie that Missy Elliott wears in her video from a couple years ago. It's like my favorite hoodie. Clamorcon, there's their logo. Of course, I got a t-shirt. And they gave me a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to show you my favorites. These things are also awesome. And... These are a bunch of balloons, and you fill and tie 100 balloons in 60 seconds. So they're all, they have all these little tubes, and all the balloons are tied together, and you just stick the whole thing in the sink, and you fill 
all these balloons in one go because they're all attached to these tubes. And they're self-sealing water balloons. So you don't have to sit there and tie them all up afterwards. So cool. And the Art Sherpa and I have already shot a collaboration video using these balloons. And you're like, how the hell did you use those balloons in a painting and art video for an art channel? You'll have to watch and find out. It's going to live on her channel because she did all the production and editing and everything. I just showed up and I said, hey, let's do some stuff. So it's going to live on her channel, but I will post the link as soon as it's up. Y'all should watch her channel anyway. Emoji gumballs. Camo backpacks. They're the kind that you, you know, draw a string on the top. And then one in more traditional camo. This is a mini coaster maker kit. At first I thought they were to make coasters, like, you know, coasters you set your drink on. <laughs> and I looked at it again, I'm like, oh no, a mini roller coaster. How cool is this? And then this is a water bottle. It's glass. And the thing is this, it's got this spiral. It's got a serrated edge in there. And the, the guy uh, handing these out says you're supposed to take a cucumber and uh, twist it in here. So it spiral slices the cucumber into your water. So you have cucumber water. Fancy business. You fancy, huh? Mm. I'm, I'm really not that fancy, but I thought it was cool. I'm going to try it out. I'm trying to remember if I've ever had cucumber water. I'm not really someone who visits spas. Um, I think I've had one. I've had two professional manicures in my life and one professional pedicure. That's because I was bridesmaids for weddings and stuff. I've been bridesmaids so many times, y'all. That's what happens when you're this old. Anyway, that was my LA and Palm Springs haul. And yeah, I will be following up with first impressions and product review videos. But do let me know in the comments what you are most eager to see in action. Don't forget to let me know whether you're interested in fashion illustration coloring pages. If you like this video, please hit like for me as that it helps me a lot. Share, subscribe, all those awesome things. Am I forgetting something? Follow me on social media. Something, something. Yeah. All right. Obviously, I am, I'm caffeinated, but not caffeinated enough. I'll see you guys in the next video.